Hi, in this video, I will talk about dendritic cells. Now, dendritic cells are critical for initiation of the immune response. They are both part of innate immunity and they also work like a bridge between innate and adaptive immunity. Their name is dendritic cell because of their long branches which are very similar that of the dendrites of a neuron. That's why their name is dendritic cell. Now, dendritic cell was discovered by Ralph Steinman around 1970s and for that he got Nobel Prize at 2011. Question is, where does this dendritic cell come from? Dendritic cell is developed from either lymphoid progenitor or it is developed from myeloid progenitor in the bone marrow. So both of that progenitors can potentially give rise to dendritic cell. Now let's try to understand the function of the dendritic cell with <coughs> very easy examples. For example, think of a country. Its border is kind of secured by fences such that intruders cannot come in and there are border patrolling police which is always patrolling near the border to look for intruders. Similarly, several barriers of our body, for example, the skin, just underneath the skin, there are patrolling police-like cells, for example, dendritic cell and macrophages, which are always patrolling near the boundaries of the skin and looking for potential pathogen. Now, let's say in a country there is an invasion of a terrorist from the border and he did a blunder in the border and when the patrolling police come there, patrolling police can see several trails, for example, empty magazines, bullet shells, etc. Now in our skin, let's say there is invasion of a pathogen by a physical injury with a rusty nail. Some pathogens associated with that get inside to our skin and as a result, our patrolling police of our immune system or dendritic cell would go and inspect the pathogen and try to kill the pathogen. So one option is dendritic cell recognize the pathogen by specific receptor on their surface called toll-like receptors or TLRs. So if you don't know what is what are TLRs, you should watch the video on the end screen. I have a detailed discussion on TLRs and the signaling mechanism by which dendritic cell or macrophages can recognize pathogen associated molecular patterns. So the bacteria or the pathogen or some molecular signatures of the pathogen could be recognized by the dendritic cell by these specialized receptors called TLR. The TLR sends signal into the nucleus which ultimately pr produce cytokines in red. So the cytokines are sort of alarms which would which would kind of alarm the other cells of the vicinity to come to the place of injury. Now, for example, in this picture, you can see that the dendritic cell has secreted a lot of cytokines that attract other dendritic cell and macrophage to the injury site. So that would help. So those are backup for these dendritic cell that would help to combat the pathogen efficiently. The second option is the dendritic cell might kill one of the pathogen by phagocytose A and then chewing it down and displaying its peptide on the surface of the dendritic cell. But dendritic cell are patrolling police. They don't have that power to kill all the pathogens that are invading from the boundary. So dendritic cell would do something as following. Our patrolling police officer is also not that wealthy and he cannot combat whole terrorist force. So he would go and convey this news of terrorist invasion in the border to a army base where there are specialized divisions of army which can which are ready to combat these terrorist force. Similarly, our dendritic cell would go to the lymph node which is sort of the army base of the immune system where B cell and T cell reside. Dendritic cell 
would display their pathogen onto a class 2 MHC to a T cell. T cell would also help to growth and development of several B cell and it would ultimately give rise to specific antibody producing plasma cells. So if you like my video, give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.